Hello guys, welcome back to Top Drives. Let's go! Hello guys, welcome once again back to Top Drives. Welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? All right, so today we're going to either call this um, assessing the situation to or what I have learned, you know, things I have learned. All right, so uh, here we are in the trick or treat event showing you my score. I was in the top 15. We got the aluminum pack and most importantly, the TVR Griffin 4.3, guys. That is awesome. Um, I forgot what kind of... They, they call these things rear and ultra rear and super rear and all that type of stuff. But um, so we're going to see. So this E is uncommon performance. And um, so let's let's see what this is. So this is a rear performance here. <clears throat> let's see what our TVR is, what, what they consider the TVR. Ultra rear performance. All right. <laughs> so um, awesome, awesome. I um, was not expecting that. But uh, but that's what we got from the trick or treat event. Sorry, it, it, the video was just so messy that so I didn't bring you that. And here, um, this I got involved with the today's challenge also. So that's kind of what I did. I, I didn't rank too high. I wasn't messing around with it too much. Um, so um, and but I'm just gonna show you what we open in the packs, anyways. So you guys have an idea what comes in these packs, anyways. You know, if you guys are thinking of purchasing a pack. Um, with your own goal or with your own um, money, you have an idea what you might get in these packs, whether it's worth it or not. All right. Um, yeah. So, so far, this game with the pack opening is 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 something still to be desired. All right. So so pretty much what I have learned. If you could look at my race quota here, it says 97. I have a 97 race quota. What I have learned is. Um, you are within brackets according to your race quota. So when I hit race quota 100, it's going to put me into another bracket, which I guess would obviously be a higher bracket, meaning I'm going to have to race much faster cars. So, um, so what I am learning is try to stay within a bracket. Try to upgrade your cars as much as possible for a particular bracket. So, you know, um, for example, hmm right here well the best we can do is it would have been 86 and this is going to be absolute murder right here i don't know why it took me so long to to sort this out but um this is absolute murder this matchup here i'm not even going to comment on any of these lineups because it's just absolute murder all right um but what i have learned is if you guys can stay within your bracket it's going to be so much better off for you so for example um i think we start at 45 um, it's either 40 or 45. I believe it's 45. It's just that they have a, a race quota 40 um, event going on right now, which is um, very interesting. Uh, but I think it's 45 to 70, 70 to 80, and then 80 to 100. I don't know what comes after 100. You guys stick around with me and we'll figure it out together. Either of that, or if somebody knows, please leave a, uh, a comment in the uh, in the link below. What what's the race quota? What's the bracket that comes after 100? Where after 100, where do they bump you up to the next um, bracket? So uh, you know, so so we can have an idea. The reason for this is, and I'm going to discuss something else afterwards. The reason for this is, like I said, the closer you are to 100 without actually getting to 100, the better it is for us. The better is it is for you as a as a racer because your 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 chances are you're going to place higher within that bracket. You're going to have faster cars for that bracket. So that's something I have learned as far as assessing the situation, what's going on with um with the game and how to how to work the game. You know, of course, you know we, we have a hard time because they give us so many cars. We don't have enough space for all the cars that we love. Um, money farming is a little bit of a problem. You know, um, if you 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 you. You, you have to keep going forward to in order to get money and then um you know it it, it just is what it is there was a seem to be was a glitch on the screen just now if you, if you notice um showing my numbers but i guess it's because i'm off the chain with this guy i'm like i'm like off the board you know as far as trying to achieve stars so we came out to, to top 29 there 
and we got three stars. I think that's the only one I'm going to show you for that, and I think we're going to try the BMW event next also. But um, I did record, I believe, the, um, the, the, the results for that race, so you'll see that in an upcoming video. So that's what I've learned. The next thing I'm going to have learned since I'm so long with the next thing I've learned is, and I'll try to show it to you here coming up. And it, it worked out for me in, in actually the, there's an event called, well, the BMW event is one that it worked out for me. And it worked out for me actually for the rear class event right now, because these D class cars are considered rear cars. Now, um, what I wanted to share with you is that that blue car we just put into the lineup right there that that blue bmw in the garage and i think i'm going to go through it right now if you go through the filter the garage filters your cars according to rarity so so um not only um hmm, you know what I, I need to really it's hard to check because you can't check a car unless the car is the same manufacturer Be, um yeah be, your, your, your garage lists cars according to rarity so meaning that how hard it is for you to get these cars the harder the harder for you to get the car that it pushes it higher in the bracket so for example the um with my two bmws my older m3 or the m3 that i'm have right now the 91 m3 right that with the, with the 5.10 to 60 83 um grip the m3 is actually a faster car than the than the 330i diesel which is the blue one which you see them next to each other in, in slot three that's the, the m3 is in slot three the, the 330i is in slot four right now all right and uh you guys go ahead and take a look at this matchup right here what so i could continue talking about what i'm what i'm talking about um so the, in in my garage it lists it lists the 330i above the m3 the 91 M3 because it's a rarer car. It's harder to get that car from car packs. But I'm going to show you guys later. So this is just me um, letting you guys know, keep you, keeping your heads up if you want to spend your money on the faster car and not the rarer car. Because you know I, I like cars, but right, like I say, we can't. We don't have the time to fall in love with cars right now. We just have to get. We just have to pick the fastest cars that are going to help us win races. All right. So um. So I'm going to show you a little later on that. The, um, the faster car is actually the M3, which is coming up next in the third race. And uh, hopefully I get to see what year it is. I think it's a 2001. Uh, this is a 2016 here. So I think it's a, uh, yeah, that went by pretty fast. So I didn't get a chance to see that. Um, right. So, so the, the, you know, the, the, the rearer car here, maybe I got another chance here. 1990 or 98 or something right the so the rear car is that m3 just now but um you know but this car is um or the faster car is that is the m3 but this car here the the 30 the 330 d is um a rearer car a harder car to get so in the garage it tells you it lists this car above the m3 um, making you think that it's a faster car that will end up being a faster car, which it won't. It won't be a faster car. All right. Um, so we placed ninth in this one. Um, so I'm just. So I'm going to spend the rest of the time kind of just showing you what's left in my garage, what my garage lineup. You know, um, if you guys like in the video, please you know leave a like. Um, go ahead and leave a like right now, won't you? And um, you know, if you if you if you are um, new to the channel please go ahead and subscribe. So I'm just going to walk you through and kind of show you the lineup right now. I think we're going to upgrade it, spend some money. So th that's just me kind of sticking to the principle, spending what little money I have on trying to max out the cars, the top performers in my garage. This is turning out to be one of the top performers. Unfortunately, I got sidetracked. The BMW event came up and I end up spending the money trying to upgrade that third BMW, the same car, <laughs> the same car that they tricked me on in the first place, right here. So the 19, it's a 1996 M3. It's still hard to see. All right, so we're gonna list it, list it by rare, rarity descending, and it's gonna show you. This is actually how the garage kind of lists it for you, but um, somehow when you do it this way, it resorts it again. It's it's kind of, it's you know guys just be careful when you when you're messing with this garage thing here. I'm going to show you. Go to all cars. We're going to go to all cars here. So you see you see it shows you the blue above the um the thing. Anyways, if you check on all cars here, 
it goes from left to right. So the cars furthest on the right are the faster car. You see the M3 is to the right of the 330D. And we're gonna prove that over here. If you look in the last slot at the, M the X5, that's a S-class car. And above that, that's an A-class car. So it shows you it listed in descending, you know, uh, uh, ascending order. Or, or this, yeah, in, 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 in ascending order, you know, in, in, the, um, in the actual showroom, right? So uh, you guys want to be careful of that. You know, take special note of that when you guys are, um, you know, um, upgrading your cars, choosing what cars to upgrade. If you have two of the same cars, it's going to be harder if you're different manufacturers. You, you know, it, it, that might trick you, might fool you right there with cars faster. But if it's the same manufacturer, take a look in all cars, look at the manufacturer's list and figure it out which car is going to actually be the, the faster car. You know, another way to do it is to just probably compare beginner stats. You know, um, you could always go back to all cars and see because you might have you might have already started upgrades on one car which make it hard for you to compare how it competes to the other car so you just go back to all cars it's going to show you the car at stock and um, you compare you compare the two cars at stock and usually if it starts out with the higher stats it's usually going to end with the higher stats so I'm just showing off my TVR Griffin here I'm going to um, compare her with the Mercedes Benz so again guys I'm I'm going to I'm just about out of here you know let me know if you guys like the video if there's anything you could add to what I what we spoke about today please leave it in the comments you know and I'll be sure to give you some credit for that and um you know I I appreciate you guys so much thanks for hanging out with me man this is your man Jack in the middle all right, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Again, if you guys are new, please go ahead and subscribe. And um, if you like the video, please go ahead and do so. And any extra comments, any extra thing, you know, let me know, guys. All right, so I appreciate you guys hanging around with me. I'll catch you up with you guys in the next one. You guys be blessed. Peace out. Bye-bye.